Welcome to Tanzania, one of the most beautiful countries in the world, inhabited by friendly, warm-hearted people, the spirit of Africa, simple and inspired. The land of Kilimanjaro, Zanzibar and Serengeti. At the foothills of majestic Kilimanjaro lies a small Maasai village called Mererani. This is the only place in the world where the precious gemstone known as Tanzanite is found. Being in a Maasai land, the Maasai tribesmen who did not know much about Tanzanite preciousness or rarity of it, use it to play man color board game, famously known as Bao in Swahili. <laughs> The Maasai trust men believe that the formation of Tanzanite was like a magic fire from the sky that hit the ground and transformed the stones on the ground on shimmering blue violet gemstones. However, geologically, it was formed over 55 million years ago during the Pan-African continental shift. This continental shift caused the Zoicide and the Budin to form deep in Earth. It said that probability of Tanzanite occurring any wells in the world is less than one in a million. Tanzanite is a single known source, which will only last for one generation, making it a thousand times rarer than diamond. This means the coming generation will have to either buy the stone as a second or third hand or inherit the stone in the family as an heirloom. Apart from Tanzanite being a single source in the world, it has a unique character of being trichroic, which means in a single piece, when it's in a rough form, it irradiates in three exquisite colors. Those colors are blue, violet, and burgundy. And each of those colors have a different color giving element. Nobody had ever seen anything like that before. It's a part treasure, part magic, a symbol of a family's heritage. A treasure was kept a secret until 1966 when a local man called Juman Nengoma took an initiative and took the stone to the National Geological Laboratory in Dodoma. After carefully examining the stone, the geologist communicated back to Juman Ngoma, stating that the stone that he brought belonged to the Blue Zoicite family, a volcanic crystal. But before they knew it, somebody gave a hint to Tiffany in New York that a brand new gemstone just has been discovered in East Africa. That stone that was once used to play man color was cut for the first time by Tiffany. A year later, Tiffany gave the blue shimmering stone a name, Tanzanite. They did so by combining the country where the crystal originated, Tanzania, and the family of the stone that it belonged to, Blue Zoicide. So, Tanzanite means Tanzanian Zoicide. We are now going underground. We will use a skip to get there. The distance from the surface to the bottom is all about a thousand meters deep and it takes about 15 minutes to get there. Once we are there, the geologists will begin to locate the vein and find the faults. Where we are right now is down to the shaft. Uh, we are checking the passage of the Boudin vein. Then we'll drill the area by using a driller. Then after drilling, we will insert dynamite and explode the area. Within the vein, we have a probability of finding tanzanite alongside other minerals. The ore will be collected, filled in ore bags, tied up to the monorubs. They'll be transferred to the surface for processing. Once the stone have been gone through the processing section, they are taking it to the sort house, 
Here the stone go through the sorting and cobbing, after which they will be ready for cut and polishing. This stage will be handled by highly skilled and experienced gemstone cutters. The process ya kwanza madini ya kileto hapa kwangu, cha kwanza tunapima size. Kwa mani ni gram gapi, tukisha maliza, tunakuenda kwenye pre-shaping machine. Kuna pre-shape ya, ya, ku, ya, ku, ya kufanya shape machine hiyo sawa. Kisha maliza, process ya pili, unakuenda unachoma madini. Unaingiza kwenye ovena, una choma masaa mawili kwa degree ya miatano. Bada ya hapo, tunatua kwenye jiko, tunaenda kwenye machine ya kukata. After the stone gone through the cutting and polishing process, they'll be taken to the laboratory for grading and certification. All of our stone, after cutting and polishing, we take them to the Tanzanite laboratory for the grading, and we grade according to the Tanzanite quality scale, which is internationally recognized system for the grading of the Tanzanite, and it grades the stone according to the four C's, color, clarity, cut, and the color to it. What was mere a rock before, now, has been transformed into a gemstone. It can then be set in any jewelry of different styles as per client's preferences. On the notion of basic principle practice, the Tanzanite experience conducts its operations based on the value and virtues of ethical mining. <laughs> We're empowering Maasai ladies economically by giving them skills on how to make jewellery. We supply them with unpolished stones and wires to make the jewellery. And then after, we help them sell. The revenue that comes from the sales goes back to them and benefit the entire family. <laughs> That coupled our social ethics of wanting to give back to the community has led us to a kickstart of program that involves donating portion of our profit to multiple beneficiary organizations. The Plus House is one of our positive examples for charity organization that we support. The Plus House uh, is really a home away from home for children who have received uh, corrective surgery as treatment for a disability. It has to be um, children that are coming from uh, poor families, parents who cannot afford uh, the cost of treatment for their children. So we support them. We treat them through funding from different donors. And the, the children that receive treatment at Plaster House are under the age of 18 years and uh, they come from all over Tanzania. Tanzanite Experience has uh, provided solar panels, they've installed solar panels, which has uh, helped us very much reducing the cost of um, electricity. You know, three points make a gem precious. The beauty of a stone, the durability, and the rarity. This gemstone, with its magical blue crystal, possesses all three points in abundance. It is amazingly beautiful, score 6.5 to 7 on the more scales of hardness, and so it is hard enough to be called durable. And the best of all, it can only be found in one place on earth Tanzania. Saito Sidani, Manangaroi. <laughs>